Welcome back on Unfilter. I'm with my guy, Coach Watts. That okay? I'm very concerned about this game because I think Daniel Jones is playing decent football, way better than Justin's playing. Who I can't believe how he is struggling, and I'm concerned Brian Dayball is going to go. 14 carries to Saquon, I might make that 28 this week. What do you well, th that would be the biggest concern that I would have. But they didn't do it the week before that, and they, they won. Uh, so they're not, whether they're trying to pace Saquon Barkley or what the reason is, I don't know. But, uh, you know, uh, if they have the same game plan, I like the Bears a lot in this game. I, I just think now two things I think will happen. One, Hey, right now, the Bears are one of the two best rushing teams in the entire NFL. So if you're the Giants, you're going to be defending that run heavily, heavily with everybody you got. And there's going to be some great opportunities. This is going to be the week that Justin Fields hits some big pass plays. I'm saying it right now. I just feel it. And the other side of the coin, if you saw Dallas, the difference between Dallas's defense and the Bears defense, Dallas pressured almost 50% of the times. You know, they, they hit Daniel Jones, the Giants quarterback, 20 times. 20, 25 times. 25 times. So if I'm Matt Eberflus, because our corners, if Jalen Johnson comes back and plays, our corners can match up well against these Giant receivers. This would be a game that I would get Roquan heavily involved in the pressure game. And I, I think this is a game where you could pressure for one reason, because you got the coverage guys on the outside to match up with their receivers. What concerns you about the Giants' defense against Justin? No, I mean, they're a solid defense. If you look at their numbers and what they've done so far, they've played solid against the run, solid against the pass, nothing exceptional. Best thing they've done is play good red zone defense. That's why they won those first couple games early. It's because they, they played well down in the red zone. But uh, uh, there's, there's nothing there that, to me, makes me jump up out of my chair. So if you were coaching this team, you look at the next four games. You've got the Giants, you've got the Commanders, you've got the Patriots, and the Vikings. Mm -hmm. None of those are juggernauts. None of them. you got a chance, but we got to build... Right now, there, there's a lot of energy and positive because we've got a couple wins under our belt. But we got to—I don't—we're we're not to the point yet where we're very—I don't—I don't think a confident team. Justin Fields goes out there and hits some passes to complement this run. This will do. This will be a big-time deal as far as a shot in the arm, momentum-wise, emotional-wise for our football team. So Justin said he went to see the mental skills coach and. You pulled the all 22 on. I have it on my desktop over there. And you look, you go, well, that guy's open and he didn't throw it. That guy's open waving his arms and he didn't throw it. Yeah. How do you coach that when he's – it's not like he's making bad throws. He's not pulling the trigger. Yeah, I, you know, you, you just got to show him the film. And he's got to be so confident on those plays going into a game. And they can't cut it back anymore. They got to start adding to this thing because the competitions, you know, the defenses are going to catch up to this running game a little bit. It might be this week. And we're going to have to throw it to win. And you just got to hope that the plays that you're calling are the ones you worked in practice or the ones he's seen on tape and the ones that he's really confident in making. Well, I'm concerned that Daniel Jones' legs could cause us a problem. It could. He's a good enough athlete, but he's no better athlete than Justin Fields. Maybe this is the week where we get a little bit more quarterback run. By he's what, in year four? Yeah. A little more comfortable. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Uh, he's playing for his job. I mean, everybody plays for their job, but this guy, new regime, year four, it's either now or, or I'm gone. You know, so he knows that. So... Uh, that can be good for the Bears. A lot of pressure this week on him. Okay, I watched the Dallas Giants game. Yep. And I'm looking at it going, boy, Cooper Rush is playing really good football. Really good. So why pay Dak Prescott a billion dollars when late. I don't think I'm any better with Dak than I am with Cooper Rush? Too late now. Too <laughs> He's yeah. already cashed the check. But the thing that they're doing with Cooper Rush, I think, which is a great job, they're running the ball, they're balanced. The ball is coming out in like two seconds. I mean, the, the, he, I don't know if he's been sacked one time, maybe, in the two starts, but they're putting in high percentage throws, and the ball is coming out right now. So 
give those coaches some credit down there at Dallas that they're putting game plans together that give him – he's got to do it, but they're giving him a chance to be successful. Okay, in addition, the pro football focus numbers and the next-gen ESPN stats say Justin is getting 3.25 seconds on average in the pocket. And he's not making plays. Is that more concerning, or are those stats sometimes skewed? I, I don't know much about those stats, but if it's even close, he's holding the ball way too long. You know, I mean, I, I always thought that I always told our quarterbacks, we've got to get rid of that ball in 2.5 seconds. You know, otherwise we are going to get sacked and hit in the mouth. And uh, so if he's holding the ball that long, he definitely should be completing some big balls. You right. know, that's the first thought. Or, hey, you know what, make, make a little quicker decisions and get that ball out. The Giants are a three-and-a-half-point favorite right now today. Yeah. It was three. It went up to three-and-a-half. Yeah, they're at home, right? I mean. And you're taking the points with the Bears. I'm taking the Bears, absolutely. I, I, I just feel good about this one. I really do. What's the matter? You're frowning over. You're I'm making on, all those faces. I'm on the other side. Okay. I feel like 24-10, 24-13 Giants. Giant. How the Giants? They can't. They aren't going to score 24 points. Are you kidding me? How? Saquon, going to give it to him 30 times. He might. You know what? You give it to him 30 times, he might. And then I'll stand here and say, you know, that's. but they haven't done it yet. No, they have they not They haven't proven. done it yet. He has been unwilling, not Saquon, the coach, to hand the ball off that many times. Absolutely. Yep. Cost. If you were back coaching, you would have been like, oh, you're getting 35 carries. Coach, please. 14, the whole game would have been 14. I, I gave it to Ricky Williams, 14 on one series. <laughs> please. Is that the one when they wanted you to throw and you went, no. I said, I've seen enough of this. One guy gets the ball. We he went it up. length of the field, score. Touchdown. Touchdown. De Miami wins. Miami beats Buffalo at home. Sunday night football. Bang. How about that? Yeah. I got to go pull that tape up. Coach, have a great day. All right, Captain.